Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for trading session Wednesday, 28th of February 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signals, Signals and Market Updates for, for the uh, for uh, from leading providers. You can certainly download the app at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app via the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, today's session then, let's look into this for you. Yeah, we have the Asian markets basically uh, turning negative overnight. Uh, that was led, obviously, uh, or induced by the uh, Mr. Powell, Fed Powell's hawkish stance. Okay, certainly hurting sentiment there. Therefore, sending U.S. equities lower, which in turn obviously uh, triggered the uh, sell-off in Asia. And this was exacerbated by the fact that we had weaker Japanese and the Chinese PMI data certainly coming on the weaker side, and therefore that exacerbated the move lower. Uh, now, given the fact that that obviously moved lower, uh, Euro European markets certainly have opened up in the negative as well this morning. Uh, so again, FTSE 100 certainly lower, and you've got European equities, DAX down 30, FTSE down almost 20 points. Okay, so looking at risk aversion there. In terms of uh, economic numbers then for the, for the morning, we've had uh, today, we've had uh, consumer confidence from the UK certainly coming in weaker. Uh, Moody's as well, uh, certainly, uh, certainly alerting us with regards to the UK consumer and businesses, certainly mood worse than expected. Uh, mood among business consumers and businesses worsened slightly in February, according to surveys on Wednesday that suggested the economy remains on a steady but slow course ahead of Brexit. So again, looking for risk aversion there. Chinese data certainly hurt, hurting the miners. Uh, stronger dollar, weaker Chinese data. That's a double whammy for the FTSE, certainly on the bearish side. So therefore, you're looking at a move lower. UK shares fell on Wednesday, dragged down on miners after weak factory data of China come while comments from Federal Reserve, Mr. Powell, reignited expectations of more interest rate hikes in the United States. So, stronger dollar, weaker commodities due to weaker Chinese data certainly is a double whammy, and therefore should send the FTSE 100 much, much lower. Okay, in terms of um, Europe then, uh, the consumer confidence numbers from Germany certainly coming in slightly weaker as well. Although, having said that, uh, the French GDP numbers came more or less in line, uh, and also unemployment numbers in Germany certainly came in slightly stronger than expected. In terms of inflation numbers, that certainly seems to be the focus in Europe at the moment. I was long the euro before I've actually closed it now. After we've had slightly weaker uh, inflation numbers from Europe, which again obviously uh, supports Mr. Draghi's um, uh, certainly uh, dovish stance for longer. So again, certainly bear that in mind. That should certainly help uh, European equities to a large extent. Okay, so that's why we're not seeing that uh, flush in European equities at present. Okay, so that's basically where we stand, folks, okay, in terms of um, the market at present. Let's see exactly where we are, technically speaking. So the German DAX, again, moving lower, okay. Let's just have a look here in terms of you've got gap fill, so failing to close that gap. Has gap lower, certainly has retraced now. Okay, we'll see whether or not that euro news regarding a weaker inflation number. Let's see if that has an impact. Now, for now, we've got weaker Chinese data, hawkish uh, uh, Fed certainly hurting the market here now what's interesting at the moment again like i said watch out for gap fill above what's interesting at the moment from here now uh, from my perspective really is whether or not we can carve out a hns formation as well so just bear that in mind a uh, 60 minute chart at the moment you've got gap fill obviously holding uh, if you do flush lower now we're looking at 12 300 support uh, bear in mind like i said you do have the uh, inverted head and shoulders and you have the hns formation as well so on the 10 minute chart you can see here i mean even though it's at the bottom end of the, of the uh, channel of the actual uh, more, uh, chart itself just bear that in mind so you've still got this right shoulder the whole concept really is that we are seeing weakness at the moment uh, especially from u.s equities given mr powell's hawkish stance okay and adding the fact that it's been exacerbated weaker chinese and japanese data Okay, so watch out there. Again, double bottom support is there for, for now, 12 or 30 on the uh, German DAX. Let's see if that holds, and let's see how the market reacts there. Moving on then, looking at the French CAC, folks. Okay, I explained yesterday, ever since we've closed that gap on the French CAC, the price remains bearish. If we do flush lower now on the French CAC, you are looking at support down in the uh, uh, three, 5 to uh, 30 zone, 5 to 30, 40 zone on the French CAC. So watch out below. In terms of French CAC, we've bounced off gap fill, okay, on the bottom uh, below. We've certainly bounced off there. We failed to close the gap above, though, so just bear that in mind as well, okay. Uh, in terms of the market, it certainly seems the oscillation between the gaps. Now, if we flush lower, you're looking at 5300 and down to 5290 support on the French CAC. Moving over to the FTSE 100. Now, this index is the where it is most bearish for me. 
uh, given the fact that it's heavily related to or heavily weighted towards commodities. Looking for a flush now on the FTSE down to 7245, looking to test that double bottom on the index and then we'll reassess where once we get there. So that's my uh, expectations here at the moment in terms of the uh, the FTSE on the 10 minute chart. 60 minute chart, we have a bear flag formation, so looking for that bear flag to play out. The pivot low for the morning has been 7240, certainly expecting that to crack as well and test 7220 on the downside. So watch out below for the FTSE 100, especially after yesterday's failed attempt to break past that key 7300 resistance, okay? intraday failure and then a reversal so again looking for bearish price action okay that's a, that's a wrap then for wednesday's morning trade i'll be having another rbc update after the market close as well so it's always uh sort of morning market update and then uh, uh market close update on the european indices on a daily basis please be sure to visit trade signal like i said and be sure to visit cfds.com and certainly take advantage of that bonus goodbye